Audio recording for this meeting has begun. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is David Wilmer, and today we're going to be looking at the Protect tool in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. So let's choose our file and get right into it. Yet again, we're going with the old reliable Meridian Inc. sample file. So let's look at the options we have at the very top. So we have the option to restrict editing. So basically, this allows you to create a permissions password. Now, note this isn't a password to open the document. So the difference between a permissions password and an opening password is significant. So let's click this. So as you can see, please enter a permissions password. After saving, choose da 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 da, da. Select the security tab to review a full list of restrictions. So we're just going to make this Adobe. Mm -hmm. And we got to apply our security settings by saving. Yep. So we're going to close this out and then try to reopen it. And as you can see, we were not prompted for a password. Only, only if you try to edit the permissions would you need to be prompted for a password. But let's move on into protect. So we can further protect this with encryption. So we can encrypt it with our certificate or encrypt it with a password. And note that because I'm about to change the security, now I'm getting prompted for a password. So Adobe. So we have this little step-by-step, -step, uh, like a little wizard thing, where we can jump through and select our settings for how we want our encryption to go. Yeah. Encrypt all document contents, all document contents except metadata. Sounds good to me. And we're just going to pick our digital ID to encrypt this with. Go ahead. And then we can finish. So now it's encrypted with our ID. As it says up here, it's secured. We could also do it with our password. So we have a we can have a document open password and a permissions password. So we can set both. So we're just going to make this Adobe and Adobe One. And as you can see, we have all these options that we can restrict. So we can restrict editing, printing. We can restrict the copying of text, images, and other content. We can enable text access for screen reader devices. And we have the option to encrypt everything, which we will do. And we've got to confirm the passwords. OK. And then the last two options, manage security policies and remove security. So that's just the generic policies that come with Acrobat. And we can add new ones, view them, edit them. But we could also just remove the security. And as I saved, notice that the file name disappeared. It went from secured, but that secured thing at the very end of the file name, it disappeared since it is no longer secure. Uh, next, remove hidden information. So any metadata about the document, so like the title, the author, the subject, keywords, bookmarks, links, all, any of these kinds of things will be removed from the document. And it has this little wizard on the left-hand side that shows you what it's found and what it's removed. And lastly, more options. So document security, security properties, and create a security envelope. So let's look at security properties. So we can examine and modify the properties of this document with respect to security. So no security, password security, certificate security. And this just shows all of the restrictions that we would apply using our security certificate. And lastly, let's look at create security envelope. Now, Acrobat comes with these out-of-the-box little templates that you can attach your file to, and they're more secure, more encrypted than normal. And so then your, your document will be attached in this envelope, which you can then send using the Share or Adobe Sign tools. So I'm just going to click through this just for an example. We can make our new policy. Mm -hmm. Sure. So we select our policy, and then we finish. And then this is what we have. So then we have this little manila-looking folder here, and then we have our file attached to it. So this can just be used to send people a file in a very visually pleasing kind of way. 
and this is out of the box with an Acrobat. But yeah. So that's all there is to the protection tool. Tune in next time. Thanks for watching, folks, and tune in next time for the redaction tool. But until then, take care.